When you're producing images for books or journals or anything really, you need to make sure that they are of high enough quality. So here is an image which I have made for a book chapter, and I think it looks pretty good, but is this actually ready for publication? Let's go and have a look in Photoshop. So audio opens up, and we see when we zoom in that it's very pixelated, it's not particularly high quality, and this really does not look good enough. Now I have purposely made this bad for this demonstration, just so I can show you a little trick. So what you do is you just jump up to here, image, image size. Now we can see when we inspect the image that it's got about 20 centimeters width, which is about right for what I'm doing. Obviously, if you're publishing in a book or a journal, they may give you a width to work to. But the problem we have here is the resolution is at 100 pixels an inch. Now that's okay if you're doing home printing, but we want to go higher. So let's kick this up to 300. Um, now what you're doing is something called resampling, where Photoshop works out what pixels should be in place when we insert new ones. So we're not just trying to make it bigger, we're also adding more information in. But we need to help it do that, so we need to drop down here and choose what we're doing. So we've got the variety of options. So we can go for smoother, we can observe details. Um, I mean, generally, it helps you out. So. If you're making it smaller, so you've, it's too big or too high resolution, then you choose reduction and keep the sharpness. If it's too small or too low resolution, as we have, you want to preserve detail. I'm going to go for preserve detail 2.0. And if we zoom over here to the side, you can really see when we zoom in what it's going to do. So although it's not got the crispness that you'd get from, say, a vector file if you're producing it in Illustrator, it does a very good job. And to show you the difference between these, I can drop down and say original preserve um, detail, which is not bad, but the 2.0 is definitely better. If I go for um, sharper, you get this. It's really not visually as good. Um, smoother, you know, again, not the right. So if in doubt, you can play around. This guy here, noise reduction, you can see 100% looks like this. Drag it down to 0%. It looks a bit grainy. Now you probably want to find out somewhere in the middle. I'm going to... No, I'm going to keep it at 100. That works for me. And click OK. So there we are. The image has got a lot of fuzz around it. Um, ideally, you want to produce the image in as high as resolution as possible and then downsample, so make it smaller rather than upscale. But this method does work and it's now made this image acceptable for publication.